Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we are going to be doing an abandoned barn. We recently had bought this barn, and today we're going to check it out. So I got the semi already last night. We uh, got the Big Mac with the trailer. Um, yeah, and it's a pretty short drive there. So let's go. So before I go, I gotta stop at the gas station and Mama Joe's Diner to get some food and gas. And then we'll be ready to go. So here's the gas station on the left. And then Mama Joe's Diner is that little building right there. So let's pull in here and get some gas quickly. It's kind of annoying because you have to do pretty wide turns with this truck. But I'm not sure what's on this abandoned farm, so we might need it. Alright, just got finished eating, and we're going to get back in the truck. And now we're going to start driving. So we're going to um, take a right out of here, and we're going to follow this road for most of the way. Unfortunately, this truck only goes like 51 miles per hour, so it's a little slower. I really do need to get a faster truck though. It would uh, it would be a lot nicer to have one that can get up to maybe 70 or even more than that. But this one, it's, a, it's enough for the job. So anyway, this farm I bought for $300,000, which is a lot for an abandoned barn. So there better be some good stuff in there if I bought for 300000 um, yeah, we better make profit off this. This is the most expensive abandoned barn I've ever done. So, I really hope we get some good, uh, things in there. Not really sure what to expect. The farmer went bankrupt and then had to sell his property. So, not really, uh, don't know what to expect. We have to drive through this little town here with this big semi. Unfortunately, there's no other ways. There is another, but it's even smaller of a road. Uh-oh. Um, car uh, may have hit me in the trailer a little bit. Anyway, these are some hard turns with a big semi like this. As you just saw, that car kind of hit me. I think we're going to hit. Okay, it's fine. Alright. So... Yeah, we, I think, are like a couple minutes away. Um, almost done. Or almost there, I mean. Wow, these are just small turns for small cars. So we must almost be to the entrance. Nice little residential suburb you have to drive through. So here we're driving on gravel. Meet you there. Alright, just pulled up. Wow. I see something blue there. I'm not sure what that is. Pulling up. Um, yeah, very abandoned. Okay, so gotta um, unfold the trailer quick. Alright, there. It's going down. Alright, there we go. So... Yeah, hopefully uh, we'll be using this trailer. Okay, so already I see something blue there on the right. Okay, so on the very far left I see a piece of yellow. Oh, there it is. Looks like maybe a truck. I'm not sure. So, I'm guessing it's a truck. Um, it's gotta be. There's no way it's not. Yep, it's a truck. I wonder what type it is. It looks like to be a Ford, I think this must be a 86, 1986 Ford. I'm um, not sure if it's a Ford Ranger or Ford F-150, I'm pretty sure it's just a Ford Ranger. But, hmm. I wonder uh, why they painted it that color, it's kind of a weird color, but, okay. This corner, nothing. Um, better be more than just that truck, oh there's something. What is this? It looks like a huge skid steer. What is this? Ooh, it's a forestry machine? I wonder if this hauls logs? Wow. 
It's a big machine. Wow. That's a huge... Uh, yeah, that's definitely a log tower thing. Basically, I think on the front you'd attach a chain and then tie up the logs and then you just drag the logs, I think. It's some sort of forestry machine. Okay, so then here's the thing on the left here that's blue. Almost looks like a school bus from this view. But there's no way it's a school bus. Might just be a little bus or of some sort. Well, let's back up to it, see what it is. What? If this is a bus, then what are those wheels? Holy cow. That's a cool bus. Wow. Holy cow. This is a nice bus. Wow. It puts spacers on there. The wheels is what makes it cool. Wow. Pretty overgrown, though. Yeah, look at that. Spacers on the wheels. And it's a raised bus. Is that a hitch? Yeah, there's a hitch on the back also. Wow. This is going to be handy. This is probably going to sell for a lot. Alright, so back in here. So that, um, I got my numbers here. That would be approximately $215,000. This would be $21,000. And these are all brand new. Oh, here we are. There's something else here. Looks like some green. Not sure. Um, maybe a combine or forest harvester the way the back of it looks. Not sure quite yet. Oh my. What is this? That looks weird. Oh, this is a mower? That's a big mower. Wow. Wow, that is, that's a nice mower. Wow. I wonder, uh, I wonder how new this is. It doesn't look too old. There's a little tree, um, overgrown through there a little bit, but that's a nice machine. Wow, that's a big one, too. That's the biggest one. So, yeah, so like I said, that's $215,000 right there, brand new. But we take $15,000 off for uh, just being old, which might be a little much, but, you know, I get a rough estimate. So so this is approximately $200,000, I'm thinking. I'm going to try to get this out of this shed. I don't know if this is going to fit even. Huh. This, this is going to be a tight fit. We do not want to tip it right away. Yeah, how did they get this in here? Maybe we'll have to try a different door later or something, but that just just will not fit. Let's try again. Look at that. It just doesn't fit. Don't want to wreck it by getting it out here, but we have to get it out some way. Maybe the back? Can't see much. There we are. Okay, just, oops, wrong way. Yeah, there, that way, okay. So it like fits, but then when, wow. How do they get this in here? Maybe the doors used to be bigger or something, or they used to open. I don't know, you never really know what the, this property looks like uh, when it's brand new, so. Okay, well, anyway, this would be about $6,000, because brand new, this would be $21,000, and you take off 15000 which is a lot, but you don't know how bad of condition this is until you've opened it up and really inspected it. So, rough estimate, this would be $6,000 I could probably sell it for at the least, which is, okay, that's fine. But I think we'll load this. And that bus. I think we'll load those on the trailer. Not sure. This should fit just fine. I kind of want to get it on top there. But I think that bumper might be in the way. Um, let's try again. Nope. Yeah, the bumper's in the way. Okay. So I think we'll park the bus on first. Um, 
Yeah, but like with spacers on there, I don't know how well this is even going to fit. Talk about a tight fit, because, oh yeah, quite overgrown in there. And this again was actually brand new, $21,000. So, 6000 about also. 6000 for this bus and 6000 for the truck. That would be about $12,000. Plus the $200,000 for the forestry machine. So there you're looking at 212000 which is, we need a little more than that. But then there's that big uh, mower slash, well, not a forage harvester. It kind of looks like it, but it's a mower. That thing brand new is at least $300,000. So we're going to say that would be 286000 I think. Um, this, yeah, this is not fitting. That's not going to work. We're going to have to realign that. And if it hangs off, it might have to just be little. Okay. So, yeah, it's looking like a pretty good deal so far. Um, I think we're, I think that, uh, mower is going to really make us some money, though. Like, the forestry machine, this bus, and the truck. That's, like... 212 is what I said before. So this is going to be. Oh no. Well. Okay, yeah, we're gonna strap that down. Well, can't get that on any better. Gotta make sure, uh. Yeah, gotta make sure this is strapped down well because it's hanging off a little bit. Yeah, that should work because it's not touching the ground. The wheels aren't touching the ground. Might do a little to the frame, but there's no other way to transport it than to drive it in and out. And I don't know how good of condition it's in. So I'll put this on there. Um, should fit a little more there. Okay, yeah, that fits nice. I'm really gonna like this truck. I might even keep it for myself. Might repaint it though. Um, yeah, it looks all strapped down. Okay, so then we will, um, we're gonna try to move this, uh, tractor, or the, the mower out, so, I think this thing is stuck, so we're gonna have to, uh, um, yeah, this thing is stuck. I don't think we're going to be able to move this. Oh, great. Okay. So, we're going to have to push this out somehow. I don't know. That tree must have grown right in it. So, this is going to be hard to move. Might have to honestly just hit it with that um, logger machine. Okay. So, now we're trying to get this out. So... Come on. Almost there. Come on. There we go. Wow, we actually got that out. That is pretty cool. Wow. I do not know how they got there. Or how they got this in there originally. I would assume that there would be a bigger door somewhere. But it is abandoned so you don't really know. So let's hit this, um, let's hit this out of here and, uh, hopefully then we can get it out. We're gonna have to make a couple trips though, especially with this. So I think after we get this unstuck, so it's moving a little bit. There we go. On. There we go. That should be good enough, I would hope. That's got to be good. All right. All right. Well, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We uh, bought it for 300000 and added up. It was $498,000 of value with the machine. So we made approximately 198000 you could just add up to 200,000. So we made 200,000. That's